Uh, this video will tell you how to branch participants to different screens within a trial, depending on their response. This effect is achieved using advanced branching in the go-to zone within the task builder. Um, and so basically, how do we direct participants to different screens depending on their response? Um, okay, let's look at this example. So let's preview the task. And is this a cat or a dog? Let's say the participant says cat. They see a screen saying, that is correct, well done. Okay. And they see a picture of a dog. They put dog. They get the same screen, that is correct, well done. However, if they see a cat and they put the answer dog, for example, they are told, unfortunately, this is incorrect. So the gorilla knows what the person answers, what the correct answer is, and how to then use that to direct. Okay, so let's return to configuration and see how this is done in the task builder. Okay, so first you need to create your screens. Overall, we need four screens to represent what you just saw in the preview one screen asking the question, one for the correct responses, one for the incorrect responses, and a final screen. Um, on the first screen, you put in the question in the response text entry zone for the participants to respond. Um, so is this a cat or dog, the image, and then the response zone. Um, on the second screen, you create the screen you want participants to see if they're correct. Uh, you also put a go-to zone, which I'll get into in a second. Um, on the third screen, you have the screen participants see if they are incorrect. Um, so whatever message you want to put there, like, unfortunately this is incorrect, an unhappy face, an unhappy smiley face, whatever you want to portray. Um, and then finally, you have a final screen, which is mainly there for control and order purposes. It has to be there so participants can be directed. Um, additionally, Gorilla wants to run through a full display, so we need a full final screen that can be used on, on all trials at the end of the display. And so when the screen ends, the next trial starts. Um, if you don't want, like I put onto the next example on my final screen, but if you don't want anything here, you can even just have a blank screen with a time limit screen section. Um, and then that will direct participants quickly on after however, how, however many milliseconds you put. Um, okay, and so that covers the basics of creating the screens. Now we have to make sure the participants' responses are used to direct them to the correct page. So either the correct page or the incorrect page. Um, and so most of this is done on this first screen, um, the screen where you ask the question, the screen where you record the responses. Um, so you need to modify the active response configuration settings. So firstly, you need to specify the correct answer. And well, sometimes users worry that they do not have a correct answer. So they have responses A and B, and neither is correct or incorrect. In situations like this, it's best to just artificially assign one of the responses as correct. Um, and so in our example, I've put the answer column in the spreadsheet, and then I've created the answer col column in the spreadsheet to reflect what the image is. So if the image is the cat, the correct answer is cat. If the image is dog, the correct answer is dog. Um, and so changing the answer column in the spreadsheet, it will change the flow, as you can see here. Um, okay, so once you've specified what the correct answer is, you can then use the branching settings you can then use the branching settings, here they are, um, to direct participants to whatever screen you want them to go to. Um, and so you put the name of the screen, and so if correct, advance to the screen correct. I've named it correct. Um, you have to be careful here because um, it's, as usual, it's sensitive to upper and lowercase and exact spelling. So you just need to make sure that you put the name of the screen and that it's written exactly the same. So I put if correct, advance to screen correct. If incorrect, advance to like screen incorrect, and then if timeout, advance to screen finish, which is just the final screen, and which will take you on to the next trial. Um, okay, once that is um, done, um, and once you've done the branching settings here, that is pretty much all you need to do on this screen. But on the correct screen, you need to add a go to zone, as I mentioned previously. Um, so this is on the second screen. Um, and the reason you need this is because the go-to zone pretty much specifies what screen you want the participant to go to from the screen. And Gorilla goes through the screens sequentially. So we'll go from screen one to screen two to screen three to screen four. Obviously here we're directing them through the active responses, but once it's on the correct screen, it'll just continue on going sequentially through the screens. Um, and so if a participant was correct, they would first see the, the correct 
screen and then the incorrect screen before seeing the final screen, which is not what we want. We want them to go straight to the final screen instead. So um, we can achieve this by putting in the go to zone and specifying it as advanced to screen finish. Um, oh, and we don't need one of these in the incorrect screen because there is no screen between the incorrect and the finish. So there's nothing, there isn't the incorrect screen as there is for the correct screen between the two. Um, yeah, and that should pretty much be it. So with this task structure, this spreadsheet, um, you should be able to achieve within task branching.